this video we're going to look at student printing using paper cut at Bert Bowes Middle School. So if you want to print a paper document, if you can't use an electronic means to submit, say, an assignment, what you need to do is save it as a PDF or export it as a PDF. So in the Mac, it's pretty easy to do whatever program you happen to be in. Simply go to File and Print. In the bottom left-hand corner of the Print dialog, there will be a PDF button. Select Save as PDF. You're going to save this someplace that's easy to retrieve. So I've saved it already as a uh, PDF on my desktop. So just give it a name, hit save, and you want to save it someplace where you can access and where you can remember uh, where you saved it to. So I'll minimize that document. And then in a browser, Firefox or Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, you're going to go in here to the Bose website. So there's the address for the Bose school website. And under Pages, there's a link that says Student Printing. Click on that. In here, there will be this video, along with some other instructions. And there will be a link to the Bose Paper Cut service. And you have to click on this from inside of the school for this to work. Click on that. It will take you to a spot to log in. Your username and password are going to be your district-wide login account. So enter those in and then click Login. After you log in, you'll see a summary and a bunch of other information and the one on the left hand side you definitely want to use to print is the web print. You're going to submit a job, pick your printer you want to print to, print options and account selection options you have are copy, so we want one copy, upload the documents, so this is where we're going to go and find that PDF that we saved onto our desktop, and there it was, upload and complete, and this will submit your job to the print server. It'll pop up and say rendering, finishing job. And then it'll show you the cost and the number of pages that are printed when it's done. So that's finished. I can go back if I want to the summary and see how my account has changed. And the one thing I want to make sure I do is when I'm done printing, I click log out so that other people can't use my account to print. And that's how you use Papercut at Burt Bowes for student printing.